Hello everyone, I'm back with the uh, content that is most popular in this community, which is backtesting trading strategies. I know you all love to learn new trading strategies and even better if it includes backtested results, right? So today uh, we are going to be looking at a rather unconventional uh, swing trading strategy called the Phoenix Bird. This strategy was uh, sent to me by one of our community members, Raghu. Um, he had wanted me to help him backtest this. So in this video, I'll take you through the rules for the strategy, introduce you to the Python code that can be used to backtest this strategy, and also share some of my findings based on some very limited testing that I've done. So let's get started. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Vivek and I'm a financial independent algo trader. This channel is all about building a community of algo traders. We discuss everything about algo trading using Python, building and backtesting trading strategies, market updates, and much more. Please do visit our community website, fabtrader.in. Also do check out my other YouTube channel, Fab Wealth, where I talk about my own financial independence journey and share tools, methods, and strategies that help me achieve my financial freedom. Thank you. Phoenix bird, as you all know, is that mythical bird that rose from the ashes after it was burned down. So this bird is mostly anecdotally uh, compared to things that bounces back into prominence after uh, it was pushed down to the floor. So in this case, we are looking at stocks uh, that faced similar situation. You have seen that the stock market sometimes, uh, in fact, most of the time overreact. Uh, when this happens, certain stocks drop significantly in price for no apparent justified reason. Right? It could even be due to some rumor about a bad expected financial results, which is later proved as false information. In such cases, the market catches up to reality, and we've always seen that some of these stocks quickly recover. And that's exactly what we're looking to exploit here and create a trading opportunity. The Phoenix Bird strategy is designed to identify such stocks that have hit bottom but show signs of resurgence. By applying a systematic approach to detect these stocks, we aim to capitalize on their potential rebound. So I guess the, the logic behind the strategy is very clear now. Um, in terms of the strategy itself, it's, uh, it's, it works on the daily time frame. Uh, we only have long trades as part of the strategy, no shorts. Uh, the indicators, two key indicators that we use is one is the rate of change, ROC indicator, as it's called in even trading view, and then the ATR, which is the average true range. Um, the average true range is usually, uh, in this case, usually going to be used to identify our target levels and the stop, stop loss levels. Um, we're going to be doing primarily on cash segment, and if people, you guys are very comfortable with futures, uh, you could try and do so, but I, mean, I assume that you know, you'll know you have enough experience in doing so. Um, because if you do futures, typically the, the margin advantage that you have is pretty good, almost one is to four or more most of the time. Uh, stock Universe will stick to only Nifty 100. We, ideally, you don't want to go beyond that, uh, given the risk. The entry rules are pretty straightforward. Um, so at, after the market is closed at the end of the day, uh, you typically run a scan to identify stocks that match the following criteria. Number one, the rate of change uh, which basically means that you know the current price in comparison to what it was 14 days ago it should have dropped about 20%. So that indicates a sharp drop of price. Uh, so the ROS indicator basically gives you that uh, you know that that data point. This indicator is available on TradingView as well. Anyway, the Python uh, code that I'm going to share automatically calculates this value. So the second criteria is that we know that the price has sharply uh, you know it's dropped right pretty sharply, but we also want to see the rebound happening, right? So you want to see the momentum improvement, which is you want to compare that the ROC today after it has dropped is much more positive than the ROC is yesterday. And the third is that you want to see the continuation or the confirmation of that momentum going up or the rebound happening. So what you do is that you wait for two days after the, the original signal is received. So you want to see that the ROC is continuing to go up, inch up, so that the ROC today is still more positive than what it was three days ago. So you have the, the, the first uh, trigger that is happening, which is you, you have confirmation that it has dropped 20% very sharp uh, within that 14-day period. And then you have the momentum improving, uh, proved by the ROC from yesterday. Uh, and then you have the confirmation of that uh, coming after three days, ensuring that the, the rebound is still in the, in the path that we wanted to. So these are typically the, the rules of the criteria. And if these criteria are all met, um, you, the idea is that we take a trade at the next day's market open. Remember, we are only taking long trades here, no short ones. So in terms of the exit uh, criteria, um, we have both target as well as stop loss. The target is basically one uh, 1x uh, true uh, average true range. So again, there is an indicator in trading view which will give you what the ATR value is. So you typically keep from the entry point, you have a 1x value uh, of that. And then the stop loss, uh, as per the strategy rules, it is 2.5 times uh, you know, stop loss. I know it's kind of, uh, it's a bit too much, but uh, you know, uh, uh, what Raghu suggested is that he had did some basic back testing and found that this this uh, you know setup of one is to or two point five is to one uh, has the the maximum win rate. So we'll so we'll we'll basically stick to what Raghu's uh, suggesting here. And then the third is basically time based exit. For example, if you don't have a uh, you know if this goes sideways and you don't have a target as well as a stop loss hit, uh, the price basically just uh, you know dances within that range. Um, after ten days, you take a time based exit. Those are the the criteria. 
If you haven't joined our Telegram group, please do so. I share uh, market insights, algo trading tips, and new video notifications, and this way you can stay up to date with our community news and events. Let's take a quick look at the, the Python backtest script. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll run the script, and then based on the output that we've, we're getting here, I'll then go back to trading view, and then I'll also show you real time how, how the, the entry is happening, the trigger is happening, and the exit is all happening. So I'll, I'll do that. All the information that I'm just talking about is already all available within the, the blog article here. I'll give the link uh, in the description and pin this on the comment section as well. So it contains the overview, the exit rules, the entry rules, and the Python script. All you need to do is just copy this and run it. Um, and then I've also attached, uh, based on the limited testing that I've done, what the output, uh, you know, the statistics look like, uh, including the, the equity curve and drawdown information. The Python script is very straightforward. In terms of uh, dependencies, you would have to install these uh, you know, dependencies, pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and seaborn. The script itself is uh, self-explanatory. I'm not going to walk through line by line. Um, in terms of how we execute it right now, I've considered Nifty 50 uh, as the universe here. So this, and then for the backtest period, I've considered uh, the 1st of January until end of March 2025. I know this is uh, this is a very short window, but for testing purposes, I'm considering a shorter window. Uh, but anyway, the script is available to you. you and I would, I would suggest that you, know, you run it for a longer period, at least for, for a period of about five years. Uh, test this as much as possible from your side uh, before you even think of implementing it. So uh, a word of caution there. The script is run. Um, the, the thing about the strategy is that uh, you won't get a lot of trades uh, because these are rare equations. So you'd hardly get, you know, for, for example, in this three month, you've got only five trades. Uh, I think I randomly checked for 2024. For the entire year, you had only about six or eight trades, I believe. Uh, so anyway, this prints out all the, the details in terms of when the trade was triggered and when it was uh, exited. It'll also give you the reason why it was exited. For example, was it a target hit or you know, you're basically having a time limit exit uh, or a stop loss. Uh, all that information is provided here. So five trades out of the five trades, uh, we have a win rate of about 80. Uh, we have uh, returns of about 14.71. I've not considered brokerage here. Uh, wanted to keep it uh, simple. Start with profit uh, factor of about four, which is pretty good. Uh, and then the average time duration for each trade is about 8.2 days. The script also in includes some very basic reporting uh, plots. Uh, for example, this is the equity curve across these five trades. Uh, and you see that overall, uh, you know, the thing looks not bad. I mean, it's a, it's a good equity curve. Um, this, again, is the distribution of the profit or the returns. Uh, so mostly on the positively skewed, mostly on the positive side, we have a 4% here and an 8% here. And then a minus 4. This was the one that I think uh, had a time exit triggered. Uh, again, this is the monthly returns. Uh, overall, about 14 point something uh, returns. And then the drawdown, uh, less than 5%, which is okay. Not a bad one. Uh, but again, the, given the number of trades is very, very less, uh, you know, Please do not take it on its face value. Uh, you definitely need to test this even more. Now let's take a look at those trades put out by Python. Uh, so MindTree was one of the, the, the first uh, counters that came up. So as you can see, uh, this is MindTree. This is a daily chart. And then I've put the ROC indicator below. Uh, and then you can clearly see you know, the, the price basically dropping down pretty sharp. And the ROC indicator clearly indicates here that it has fallen below 20% uh, here. right? Um, so when that happens, this is the yellow line indicates when that, that trigger that did happen. And then you basically wait for two confirmations, right? You check whether the ROC is improving and that's what is happening here. And the, the actual entry is taken on the 4th of March. Uh, 4th of March is where you're getting the confirmation to enter. So you, you typically enter on the opening of the next day, which is this candle, right? And in this case, what happened is it did not hit either the target or the stop loss. It went a bit sideways. And then on the 10th day, the, the trade basically was exited based on time exit. And I think, I believe it was a minus four uh, return on this particular day. And then on the same day, uh, you know, it again hit and then confirmation was received. Uh, you know, the, again, the, the entry criteria uh, was triggered. And then on 20th of March, uh, the, the second trade was entered. Uh, but this time, when it was exited uh, on the 24th, we hit the target of 180R here. So this was a, a successful trade and this was not. The second counter was Vipro. Uh, again, the, the trigger or the ROC fell uh, sharply on the 13th of March. The confirmation was received on the 19th. Uh, in fact, it was received on the 18th and then the trade was entered on the, the beginning of the, the 19th. And then uh, within a few days, which is on the 27th, the target of 180R was hit. So this particular trade was a success. Overall, I think this strategy is good. But however, we've, remember that we've only done, you know, only a couple of practices here for a very short period of time. Uh, this is in no way a recommendation uh, for you to start using this. This is only for educational purposes. So I would strongly suggest that, you know, you run your own tests. Uh, please do not take this as recommendation again. Um, and then once you run those tests for various time periods, uh, please do comment and let me know how it went and what else you found uh, so that we can share it to the rest of the community.
Hope you like this strategy. If you'd like to see more content like this, please do like this video and that will motivate me to keep doing this. If you'd also like to share some of your strategies with the community or you'd like me to backtest any of your strategies, please do email me with the details and I'll do my best. Thank you. If you genuinely found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you soon in another video. And until then, take care and happy trading.